All right, a couple of uh, quick things. Um, so this leads on with the, uh, the sums and products of, of functions. Now, log and exponential stuff is um, a little bit different. It's there, a bit funky, so the patterns that uh, that they exhibit are a little bit different. So, for logarithms, substitute y there instead of the x so lots of base c of y now so with um, with logarithms when we're adding logarithms we can combine by multiplying The function, the function x is log base c of x. So if we've got x y, then we can say that that's function x y. Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a different um, pattern with logs because of the log laws. So logs behave in a different way. So fx plus fy is equal to f of xy, but remember that's that. that oops, is only for logs, right? So normally that wouldn't be the same, but for logs because of that log law that allows that, yeah. that combining. That, is exi that exists, and of course, for logs, if we subtract, <coughs> so similarly, f of x minus f of y, and I'm not going to go through the whole process of it, but for logs, f of x minus f of y is f of x divided by y. Because if you have a minus here, you can divide those. All right. And exponentials would also also have some patterns, which I will go through in a minute. Alright, 
So it's the basic one, e to the x. So in this case, if I go x plus y, that would be replace x by x plus y, e to the x <coughs> plus y. Now, if we look at first index law and use it in reverse, we're adding indexes, we can separate it out and say that's e to the x times e to the y. And so that then of course is fx times fy. Again, that's a different pattern, so normally that wouldn't be the case. These two things would not be equal to each other. But because of exponentials and the index laws, um, the pattern's slightly different. <clears throat> and so f of x plus y is equal to f of x by f of y. And again, that's only <clears throat> for exponentials. And similarly, if we have x minus y, we x f of x over f of y. But just a reminder, in general, not equal, alright, so it's only for logs and exponentials that these <coughs> things hold. So what you have to do is you have to look at what the um, equation is. So I'll do an example. <coughs> So if, if we've got functions other than logs and exponentials, these things wouldn't be equal yet. So it's only logs and exponentials because of their nature that, that these, these patterns um, turn up. So what you need to do is look at what the functions are. So I'm going to do an example here with a function other than or an exponential. <coughs> all right, am I all right to rub? Yeah. All right, so an example. <coughs> Okay, so it gives us a function, so it's a hyperbola, 1 on x, and we're asked to verify that fx plus fy is equal to x plus y times 
f x y. So what we need to do is work with sides independently. So what I'm going to do is look at the two things that we're interested in, f x plus f y. And the other thing we're interested in is f x y. Alright, seeing as the function's 1 over x, in this case we're replacing x by x times y. Over here, of course, we've got 1 over x plus 1 over y. And to add those together, we need a common denominator. So I'll multiply top and bottom of <coughs> this one here by y and this one here by x. So I'll get y over xy plus uh, x over xy equals y plus x over xy. Oh, they're top. They're a little time. Yeah. I thought you were like X or X, X. <coughs> oh, I was very confused. Okay, that's right. We sorted? Yep. Okay. So, another way of thinking about this here is that that's Y plus X times 1 over XY. And 1 over xy is fxy. So normally we would write that with the x at the front, x plus y times fxy. And that has now verified what we're asked to verify. Alright, so as I said in that previous one, the note that normally those things are not equal in this example of that. All right, the last thing. Examples, so one of them is a thing called literal equations. Uh, little literal equations are equations without numbers. equations means is that you've got an equation without numbers, so C and A, if you like. Um, so we just use the same processes that we would normally use to get the X by itself. So we need to get rid of the log. How to, what's the opposite to log? E. E. So we go E to the power of. So C, yep. So we go E to the power of, it's a funny looking E. 
So e, there they cancel, so CX minus A equals E. No, it's same chapter. Alright, if A was the number, we would do what? Um, plus A. Plus. So in this case it's not a number, it's a letter, so we just plus it still. And then the last thing we need to do... Divide by C. Divide by C. And then, so X is E plus A over C. Families, yeah, we've done families before. You know how to do families, so I'm not going to... Unless you want me to do an example, I'm happy to do an example. I would like an example. You would like an example? All right, well, I'll do an example. I do have an example here. So in this one here we're told about a quadratic function, so a quadratic function it talks about as a function, I'll write it, use function notation. Um, in expanded form it would be ax squared plus bx plus c. Now the reason that I have chosen to write it in expanded form is that we were asked to find the coefficients in terms of C, the y-intercept, all right? And so that's this on the end there. Um, so that's why I've written it like that. Now, you'll notice that we've got three unknowns, but only two bits of information, and normally to find we need if we've got three unknowns, you need three equations. So in this one, we're not going to be able to find everything. And that's why right here they say, find the other coefficients, A and B, in terms of this one. All right, so let's put in what we do know, and then from that, see where that leads us. So f of 1, so when x is 1, f of x is equal to 6, so f of 1 equals 6, which 
would be A plus B <coughs> plus C. F of 2, the answer is 4. Uh, 2 squared is 4, so it's 4A plus 2B plus C. Okay, so now we've got to solve simultaneously, but we've got to be a little bit careful because straight away we probably look at this and go, okay, we can subtract them and we'll eliminate the C. But in the question, we don't want to. Yeah, exactly. We want to keep the C, so we need to solve simultaneously and eliminate the A and the B and then get something from that. So, if I call this equation 1 and that equation 2, and then if I do equation 1 by 2, I would get 12 equals 2A plus 2B plus 2C. And then that's equation 3. And then if I do equation 3 minus equation 2, I will be able to eliminate the Bs, yeah? So 3 minus 2. Uh, so 12 minus 4 is 8. 2A minus 4A is minus 2A. 2B minus 2B is no Bs. 2C minus C is C. So we want the other coefficients in terms of C. So I want the A by itself. So when I rearrange that, you will find that that's C minus 8 over 2. And then we work out for the B. So we can work out for the B by doing great idea. We can substitute. So if I take this and I substitute that in equation one, for example, it will be six equals C minus eight over two plus B plus C. And I can shove all this stuff over there. So I prepared this earlier. When you simplify all of this down, you get what do you get? 20 minus 3c over 2. All right. Again, that's literal because we've got a unknown. All right. So now we know what. Uh, a and B are in terms of C, and if you like, it's a, this is a family because depending on what C is, you get a different um, graph, different parabola. All right. Any, anything there on there that I'm not sure of that right, you want? Further explanation on? Yes, no? So what's C? C is whatever C is. Oh, C doesn't find any bit. Yeah. Right, we can't find C because we've only got two bits of information. But what we have found is everything in terms of C. So if C is 1, you get a particular parabola. If C is 10, you get a different parabola. So, but we don't have the information to find out precisely what it is. So, our equation of our parabola then will be 
dicks. So that's the equation of our parabola. So for whatever, as I said, see particular number, you stick that in and that'll tell you what that particular parabola is. But we don't have information for that. All right, anything else? No? All right, all good. Turn this off.